So today I'm going to be talking with you guys about why you should not adopt a pug. Now I've been taking care of my pug kitten for the last eight years and over the last eight years I realized that pugs, unlike other dogs, are a little bit more high maintenance. Pugs have health issues, unusual temperaments, grooming requirements, and of course there are always the exceptions. And although Kiki is very much a handful, I do love her to death and, you know, really enjoy having her as a dog. But sadly, my experiences with her have taught me that pugs are a little bit more of a handful than you would expect. Let's go ahead and start off with their health issues. Pugs are sensitive to extreme weather conditions, hot and cold. According to dogbreedinfo.com, pugs catch colds easily and are stressed by hot and cold weather. This means that even if it's just a little too hot or a little too cold outside, being outside could seriously affect a pug's health. I know that when we take Kiki for a walk around the block and it might be a little too hot out, maybe say over 75 degrees, by the time we're done with our leisurely walk around the block, Kiki is usually out of breath and a little overheated. One of the unique characteristics about a pug is their bulging eyes. According to pugfactsguy.com, the eyes of a pug are also likely to become scratched or otherwise injured. They have large protruding eyes. So if you had a pug and a cat and they were really playful with each other, you'd probably have to be careful when they're playing with each other because the cat could easily scratch the dog's eyes and easing, leading to loss of vision and or oh, complete blindness. Pugs have also been known um, to not be such great swimmers. According to JustDogBreeds.com, pugs don't like water. Most cannot swim. Having a pool without an enclosure around it could spell trouble for a pug. We had a Baikiki, a life vest, as you can see in this picture, because she had fallen in so many times while out barking at things. Now we can move on to their behavior. Pugs tend to make a lot of noises, and I'm not just talking about their barking. According to JustDogBreeds.com, you should know that pugs tend to sneeze, snort, snore, and fart a lot. The snoring can be loud. Um, I've actually heard it referred to as sounds like an old man snore. And pugs love to be near you. According to JustDogBreeds.com, pugs will try to live in your lap, eat your food, and sleep on your bed. Now, it's cute at first, don't get me wrong. Um, it's adorable. But when I am have Kiki on my lap and I'm sitting on the couch and the phone rings, Kiki turns into complete dead weight so as to prevent me from getting up. Also, the food thing, we call her our little vacuum because she will eat anything on the floor, um, even if it's not food, even if it's like a rock or something, a piece of tissue, anything, she will eat it. And the sleeping in the bed thing probably wouldn't be such a that big of a deal if it wasn't for the shedding. Um, pugs shed a lot, which leads us into our next topic, which is grooming. According to JustDogBreeds.com, a pug is a very heavy shedder. He sheds an awful lot of hair. You'll find hair all over your home, stuck to everything. In no way is that quote exaggerated. One of the reasons I was so excited to move away from home was the absence of dog hair over all my clothing. Even just picking Kiki up really fast to put her on the couch or put her outside on our doggy bed needs to dog hair everywhere. In this picture, I asked my mom to take a picture of the amount of hair that comes out of the special brush we had to get for Kiki. Most dogs shed their winter coat for the summer, but Kiki here seems to still shed despite the fact that we're now in cold weather season. Bathing your dog regularly is also very important, but when it comes to pugs, there's a certain level of elevated care that goes into their bath. According to dogbreedinfo.com, dry thoroughly after a bath so the dog does not get chilled. Creases on the face must be cleaned regularly. That's another thing. They're wrinkles. The wrinkles are also one of the unique characteristics about a pug, but they can be a pain if you don't clean them every day. According to PugFactsGuy.com, the wrinkly skin that pugs are recognized by can actually be a health problem as dirt can get trapped under the wrinkles which can harbor bacteria that can cause an infection. Therefore, you should clean out the wrinkles on your pug periodically. When cleaning the pug's wrinkles, you need to get in and around the nose area as well as around the eyes. The result from not doing so are smelly and gross. Kiki will usually wipe her face on any and every surface possible if you let the wrinkles clean go a few days leaving behind this brown smelly residue. Of course, though, there is always an exception. 
According to DogBreedInfo.com, the pug is keen with a happy-go-lucky attitude, animated, peppy, and spirited. They are loyal, loving, and affectionate to their families. Playful, lively, and rambunctious, they are sure to keep you laughing. Pugs are also very intelligent. I know that Kiki knows the words like leash, walk, ride. She goes crazy when she hears those words. She also knows the word cat, dog, duck. She knows some of my friends' names. She knows some of my brother's friends' names. She, if she hears a name of a dog that lives in the neighborhood, she gets all excited. Like, she is very keenly aware and she recognizes words. In conclusion, pugs do not do very well in hot or cold weather. Their eyes are vulnerable to damage or injury due to their protruding nature. Um, they aren't very good swimmers. They burp, fart, snore, you name it, all the time. They shed majority of the year. And they need to be bathed regularly and have their wrinkles cleaned regularly as well. But they are loving and intelligent dogs. They're happy-go-lucky yet stubborn lap dogs that very much love their family. So hopefully you will think about everything that I shared with you today and really consider all of these things before you decide to go out and adopt a dog yourself. Thank you for listening to my speech today. And these are my references. If you want to see some clips of pugs doing what pugs do best, you should type in these titles on the YouTube search engine. And these are the clips that I was going to show in class along with my presentation. So 